I usually I do reviews on series and that's still what I'm doing but um, because there's only one book out so far in this series the review is only going to be on one book but um, let me set the scene first so I'm in the middle of, I was in the middle of reading two series that were really bad and just the thought of reading another one now just put me off and I still have one more book in each series to read and the reason I'm only reading them is so I can do a proper review for you guys so um, I wanted to take a break so I decided to start on a book I have for a while and I'm looking forward to reading so I said you know what I'm just going to read it so it was Wither by Lauren De Stefano and oh thank god I read it because it was just so good and a breath of fresh air compared to the two crappy series I had to read um, so this book is about it's it's set in a dystopian world so it's set in the future and in this world <coughs> experiments were done on humans to make them live longer and they managed to get this generation of people to be born healthy with no illnesses or anything and they live to a, you know along to like an old age but then after a while they realized all the children born after that generation started to die so now all females die when they're 20 and all males die when they're 25 and we have that older generation still alive but they're about in their 60s 70s now um so because females die earlier than males they're kind of um basically they're kidnapped and traffic and they're like kind of there's like trafficking going on they're being sold as, you know, like for like sex or sold as like brides and the story in this book is i mean you got straight into the story there's no like, boring setup um our main character is um ryan and she is kidnapped with a bunch of other girls and her and two others are chosen by this guy linden and she's brought to this mansion and she's told that she's going to be his wife so these three girls they're like sister wives and um ryan is 16 so that means she's four years to live and um so she's like miserable she's brought to this mansion and she has a twin brother rowan and they lived in manhattan and she's brought to this mansion way over in florida and um and she's just missing him terribly and she's just so unhappy in this mansion but she's, she can't escape, she's like a prisoner there and throughout the book then we see how she has to cope with living in this mansion and with her husband and with her sister wives and there's a servant in it called Gabriel who she starts to bond with and it was just from beginning to end such an enjoyable book and just like I was captivated the whole way and you know like it's not like there's constant kind of action scenes or on ten, like ten, ten scenes or anything like that. It's just it gradually like, develops and builds and builds until you get this kind of ending and, and exciting ending. And um, I I just loved it. And <coughs> you're constantly wondering what's going to happen. Will she escape? Will she not want to escape? Who will die? So. I mean, I really enjoy the book, and I cannot wait for the next one. It's a, it's um, it's a trilogy. It's called the Chemical Garden Trilogy. I'm not sure why it's called that, but the next book is called Fever, and it's out on the 21st of February, um, 2012. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I just really enjoyed this book. It was brilliant. Um, it just has you know a bunch of good characters, and the main character she's really likable to. And when, as the author writes, you can <coughs> really understand what the main character Ryan is feeling and why she's feeling this and how her feelings change throughout the book. And the writing is so simple, but in a way it's, it's really well written too because there's some beautiful descriptions in there and really well written. <coughs> so for all those reasons, I recommend this book, um, highly recommend it. And I hope you enjoy it. So now I'm going to do a spoiler review on the book. So if you haven't read the book before, I suggest you turn off this video now. Okay, so with her, um, you instantly kind of, <coughs> you instantly like Ryan. And 
you sympathise with her and you want her to escape and I love kind of brother sister relationships in books because you kind of they're not that you really kind of read about them and you know like little flashbacks of her life with Rowan and I can imagine what he's going through I hope he, we get to meet him in the next book and um, maybe not maybe in the third book since it's a trilogy and has to build up to her reunion I assume um <coughs> but it's just the relationships in the book too were quite um different and her with her sister wives and of so sad when Jenna died you feel so sorry for her and Cecily she's kind of a complicated character you don't know whether to feel sorry for her or to kind of be annoyed with her and I mean like she was only 13 and she got pregnant that was really really tough and one thing though like I didn't want Ryan to start to like Lyndon. I know he's kind of, like she said, he's kind of like a prisoner himself. He doesn't know what's going on. But, I mean, like, come on, he has to know a little bit what's going on. And she's, like, forced to marry him. And I just hope those feelings weren't really, like, I don't mind if she kind of just felt like, oh, he's okay. I don't hate him. But I don't want her to, like, like him, like him, or even love him. <coughs> I loved... Obviously I love Gabriel and him and Ryan's relationship, you know, it was sweet and developed and you kind of knew the minute that they kind of met something was going to happen there, like, you know, the, the, her getting involved with the servant. And um, you could tell, like, how conflicted she was throughout the book because she was feeling like, is it really that bad to, to die here? <coughs> and then she realised she wants freedom more than kind of like a cushy life and I I love the kind of world that was created too like that every female dies at 20 and every male dies at 25 that's so different as well and it's, it's kind of sad and <coughs> I do think that Ryan is kind of like the key to um, a cure or something like that because with her heterochromia with her eyes and um, yeah I think there's definitely something there and obviously the Vaughn guy, he's really interested in her and apparently in the next book he's still kind of after her. Um, I read the description of the next book, Fever, and I feel, I hope Gabriel doesn't resent Ryan because he wasn't 100% convinced to run away at first because he thought it was not too bad. And she finally comes and run away and he did, but in the next book they get involved with some other thing where they're prisoners with like some carnival thing or something. And obviously it's not going to be that easy to get from Florida to Manhattan when there's no money or anything in this kind of tough world. So <coughs> I hope they get they still get along in the next book. And um, I think the next one's going to be really different too because I mean this whole book takes place in this mansion. <coughs> and the next book would be something really different. But I'm looking forward to it because I think the writer is really good. And she sets up great characters and stories and... She moves at a good pace, like she doesn't move too fast, she doesn't move too slow. <coughs> it's just like, you know, it's it's um captivating to, re to read the whole way through. So I really enjoyed it and I can't wait for the next one. And um, I hope you decide to check it out because it's well worth the read. So that's my review and um, thank you very much for watching.